All right, before we go into actually assembling this engine, I want to do a real quick little piece on Loctites, okay? And sealants and, and so on here, you know, everything we're going to use. And the reason I'm going to do this, I'm not going to have you, you know, read the manual here, uh, you know, for the video, but I've got a couple of, uh, points in here that just in these fasteners down here in the bottom case, we have our balancers that you're going to see us install. Okay. They have these large uh, Torx fasteners. Then we have these large nuts that are going to go on there. You'll see how those are installed. And then we have these tiny little fasteners for the piston jets. They all had different uh, numbers for the Loctite. Harley-Davidson here in this particular uh, manual is specifying Loctite brand uh, Loctites. And I, I just wanted to make a point that I really think even myself, has taken this for granted. All right, Tex, I have a strong belief that the only way you can get better is look at where you've been and where you're going. Look at the things that you do and ask yourself, why do I do it this way? Why do I take risks or why do I take chances when I really just don't need to? Really, the point of this uh, piece here is to think about uh, really knowing your products and best practices. On the past that red's red, blue's blue, and so on. And when we really looked into this, and I, and I gotta be honest with you, if it wasn't for uh, realistically, you know, the training materials and stuff that are out there, I don't know how many years of my career, let me zoom in here a little bit, uh, you know, Harley Davidson put together an amazing deal, the competition we go to every year called Skills USA, and this was one of the stations last year, and this was some of the materials that they went into and talked about Loctites and, and whatnot. And what they were realizing was that, you know, are people, are technicians really using what the service manual is asking them to use? Okay, and are they applying it the right way? Like you look at these pictures down here, you know, is it a couple of drops? Is it, you know, across all the threads? You know, you can look here at the different strengths. Uh, so really digging into this and getting a good understanding of the, uh, the correct Loctite and the right one to use I think is really crucial. So I'm just going to kind of move this service manual out of the way for a second. And I want to talk about just inside of here, Harley-Davidson, like I said, had this 262 red bottle. You see a red label. I'll do this two, uh, 271 here. And this purple, okay, the 222 purple was for... The piston jets, we, I'm sorry, to zoom back up here. The purple one was for these guys, these real low strength fasteners, okay? Now I'll look in the manual for which one goes where, but when you first look at this, let's just be real. Let's do it every mechanic, typical practices. When you first look at those, if you're a tech and you see a bottle of Loctite sitting on a bench and you go, oh, yep, there's red, right? How many times have you ever heard somebody say that? Grab the red Loctite, yeah. okay? Or you might see where somebody says, you know, grab blue Loctite, okay? Now, we typically relate the strength of the Loctite to the color, right? Typically? Yeah. So yeah. we think a blue is like a medium, and we think a red is uh, a uh, more of a high strength. Here's a, another company out there, and this is used in the power sports industry, honestly, because I honestly think, you know, a big reason this is used is it's really inexpensive, okay? So this one here is orangish red, okay, and it says that it's uh, high strength. So we can go here and look at this, you know, chart on here, blues, greens, red. Look at this. Most of the time, anybody's had any formal training, when you think of a green Loctite, anybody know what green usually is of, of the Loctite brand? Very powerful. Strong. Oh, that's like it's never coming off no matter what. It would take like an alien laser beam to be able to get that off there to heat it. I mean, it's permanent as permanent gets. Green is like, oh my God. Well, this company here, what's their green? green. Well, holy cow. If you took and used that on an application that required green Loctite, are you going to have a problem? Yeah. So without having a, uh, you know, an hour long video just on all these different Loctites. What I want to recommend you do is you need to get familiar with your products, okay? The service manual here, they're telling us for a fastener to use this Loctite and that they're not all the same. So real quickly here, this red, it says high medium strength according to the website. Look at the bottle here. Get my hand out of the way. It says high strength. The website says high medium. And this Permatex, this was a may require heat to remove. 
Do you think that, do you bet that Permatex even has different uh, strengths of red? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're just going to summarize it as this. They are not all the same. Fair? Yep. Harley Davidson told us to use this. For all purposes, if we simply use what they say use with the right amount of drops, the right application, is our uh, chances of success going to be very... <laughs> We're going to summarize this. <laughs> all right. Cut all that out. Yeah. All right. We're going to summarize this. If we use the Loctite that they specify, we apply it how they say, whether it's a couple drops, a patch, where to put it, our chances of success to duplicate what they did when they designed this to begin with are really high. Right on? Yeah. All right. I, I hope you're uh, tuning in and finding this valuable and, and taking a look at um, this Every Mechanic series. Quite a few of you are following on uh, on YouTube on the channel there, and you know I'm on a passionate quest to uh, to really take a look at um, how we train and how we educate um, technicians uh, in, in really all walks of life. We have people from many different careers watching this channel, and the uh, checklists and the accountability pieces. Uh, dealers are using it, businesses are using it. And I just want to thank you for all the comments and uh, and support behind this. This is uh, just a real important passion for me. Is um, uh, really uh, remembering my mom and and uh, in her life. So, as uh, moving forward, this let's just think about this. And and uh, man, I'll tell you when I learn something or I get exposed to something, I think, ooh, geez, how many times did I maybe do that wrong or or not the best? And uh, I, I do a lot of reflection. And so I'll just use this Loctite one for example. You know, you you start to learn something deeper and you take a look at it and you think, wow, hey. Maybe that's why that came loose one time, or maybe that's why that didn't last the hours or the mileage or whatnot it did. But I'm going to tell you this, no matter what, when I look back, the only thing I can do is what a lot of technicians are doing. You're just guessing. You're just stabbing in the air and thinking, well, maybe this, maybe that, maybe this. Get rid of risky mechanics. Get rid of it. If Harley-Davidson, Suzuki, anybody, Kawasaki says use this Loctite and put this many drops on it. Believe me, they know what they're doing. They got it figured out. We don't have to re-engineer that. And especially, especially, I can't stress this enough, if you're a newer technician, build your craft, get excellent at your craft, be amazing at, at really learning the skills. When you want to get flexible and creative and and reinvent the wheel, man, awesome, do it. We, you know, we never got ahead by, by just sitting still and, and copying each other. Um, but we have a lot of success, especially entry level techs. We have a lot of success at copying each other. And, and I'm, I'm not saying that this is an entry level only thing. I'm not saying because you turn wrenches for 10 years, 20 years, you all of a sudden get to not use Loctite or use the wrong brand. You know, that's not what I'm saying. So just, uh, take the lesson, pay attention to it. Look at how you can apply it and think about what your future would look like. Think about you, uh, not having to question the integrity of a, a how long something lasted because you simply know this you know this about yourself you know this about your muscle memory your mechanical muscle memory if you will it says loctite 271 i use loctite 271 it says put a couple drops i put a couple drops just copy success in those areas and uh, you'll find it very rewarding when you have to diagnose something for different reasons and and not have to question yourself so keep on rocking keep on wrenching uh, thanks for all the sub so if you haven't subscribed to the channel uh, please do so and uh, leave any comments or questions or thoughts below make it great